go talk about one state solution in the right. final couple of minutes. It appeals to me ideologically. I remember I read Tony Jutt in the New York Review of That's Books right. in right. college, and I said to him, it was like, look, what do I believe in? I believe in a state where everybody, regardless of the background and who they are, has total cultural and individual autonomy, mm -hmm. and all is sh uh, protected under a, a shared civic law. That's How right. could I not support that in the That's Middle right. East? That's right. So what we have today uh, in Israel is uh, the two-state solution is gone. Actually, it never existed. I mean, that, but, uh, but it certainly, you can make the case that with the collapse of Oslo, for the last 25 years, it's been gone. So for 25 years, we've been floundering, and Israel has simply strengthened its occupation to a degree that today there already is one state. Right. Between the Mediterranean and the Jordan River, there's only one effective government. Right. There's only one army, obviously. There's only one set of borders. In other words, you can't get into the country from any direction without going through Israeli border controls. There's only one currency. There's only one infrastructure. There's only one legal system. So by any measure, this is already one country that Israel created, but it's an apartheid state because uh, you have separate legal regimes for, for, for different populations under the same government. So right. it's like apartheid. It is apartheid. So what we're saying is, okay, it's a fairly stark uh, set of options. The two-state solution that we, ex that we accepted in the peace camp and the Palestinians accepted right. is gone or never was. So let's stop talking about it because it's gone. The, the, um, the option, what Israel wants is apartheid, one country with apartheid that I think all your listeners uh, won't accept. I don't think anybody today would accept apartheid. Our viewers too, and and your viewers, yeah, and the uh, and the so th that remains. So the, the the third option is to say this: Okay, Israel, you created one state. We go along with that. We'll go with the flow. Fine, one state, but it can't be an apartheid regime. Right. It has to be a democratic state of equal rights for all its citizens. Now, why there should be such a shocking idea? <laughs> For Americans or people in the West, the democracy. Right. Right. That is exactly the way out. It's simple, it cuts through things, and in fact, it would work. Because, you know, it's funny to say Explain this. Explain how it would work, because I, I know so many people who know, are right there, and they still have this little voice. And I say to yeah. them, I said, look, you know, look at the transition. Not that South Africa doesn't have any problems, right, right. but they generated a full democracy, there's no pogroms. That's There's right. no. I mean, people and they participate the in AMC politics. They terrorist, and they predict the bloodbath the stuff. These are all colonial terms. Right. In fact, it sounds funny to say this with occupation and demolitions and repression and wars, but in fact, our the country that I'm talking about between the Mediterranean and the Jordan River actually functions not badly today. You know, 20 percent of Israeli citizens are Palestinians. Right. And there's never been. Intifadas inside Israel. They're fairly well, they're second class citizens, but they're you know they're well integrated in that sense. And even in the occupied territory, you know, if, before Israel closed the occupied territories uh, almost thirty years ago, uh, so Palestinians don't have access to the Israeli economy anymore and right. impoverished them. A hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty thousand Palestinians every day would come into Israel to work. They spoke Hebrew. The last generation of Palestinians was much more integrated into Israel than their kids are, because their kids have been locked out of Israel for the last 30 years. So that, in fact, we had, and we have, to some degree, a functioning country. I mean, we're not, I mean, it's true, there's fighting, but a lot of the fighting, like in Gaza, is actually initiated, is actually initiated by... Uh, oh, is that Netanyahu? Take off my coat. And, no. I'm sorry about that. Tell, I didn't it's think, okay. It's all right. I didn't think it was going to ring. It's I all right. I thought the ring was off. And uh, the point I'm trying to it's make massage. is that is that the um, actually the violence, if you want to call it that, or the warfare, or the, has been all has been initiated by Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, the wars, the the occupation, um, the 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 closure of Gaza into a, like a, a prison. Right. Um, you know, the, I just the, want to be so really that, clear that when we call Gaza an open air prison, you know, in the United States, this is, it is still. An open air prison. First of all, that's an objective fact, and secondly, David Cameron, the former British Prime yeah, Minister, yeah, called yeah. it that. That's so right. outside of the United States, there is no that's conversation. Right. 
in mainstream politics about what this is. This That's is a right. two plus two That's equals right. four statement. Right. But the bottom line, yeah. all I want to say is yes. that this idea that somehow we're enemies, we'll never live together, we'll kill each other, the Palestinians will kill the Jews, simply isn't, isn't true. I think these two peoples actually, um, there's been a lot of research, we have, our economies are very complementary. Palestinians have a very vibrant high-tech economy. Yeah. They're into telecommunications. It's repressed, but it's there. Um, there are more, if you take all the Palestinians in the world and all the Israelis in the world, there are more Palestinians in universities today. They're a highly educated population. They have a tremendously wealthy, educated diaspora right. that, behind them yep. that the blacks in South Africa didn't have. So they have resources and they have an interest. What we're trying to do with the one state idea is to say, let's build a country that's win-win. We're not excluding anybody. We're not destroying anything. We're not. We're transforming an apartheid regime into a democratic country in which it's good for everybody. So if you're an Israeli, you can continue to speak Hebrew. Nobody's going to close the Hebrew university. You can live in Hebron if you want to. Yeah. You know, but the country will be integrated yeah. and, and people will be equal. And in that kind of a situation, the economy will grow. Refugees will come back. In that kind of a situation, there's no motivation for bloodshed or one community right. to attack the other community. It's a win-win for everybody. Right. And uh, I remember a professor of mine, uh, one of my IR professors, he said, you know, if you look at uh, uh, car theft rings in Israel-Palestine, mm -hmm. You could see that even in the worst of times, Israelis and Palestinians can work yeah, really exactly. well together. Uh, criminals yeah, work yeah, very well together. Yeah, yeah. criminals know what they're doing. Um, how can people help and get involved if they're interested, Jeff Halper? Well, <clears throat> this is a Palestinian-led movement. We call it the One Democratic State Campaign uh, for a single state. It's Palestinians and Israelis, but led, of course, by Palestinians. And uh, we have a Facebook page right now, One Democratic State Campaign. We're working on a, on a website. We're going to launch this movement probably in April. So we're not all set up yet. We've been spending the last two years formulating a program, a 10-point program that I think is a, very, is a very good program, which you can find on the Facebook page. Uh, and then, you know, uh, people can contact me or contact us through the, through, the face, for, through the Facebook page. We have an email, which is contact at one democratic state.org and uh you know we're at the at the um uh, you know at the, at the ground level right now so you know people want to get involved uh, this the is the good time. ground ground up the not the howard up. schultz one the good one <laughs> jeffrey halper all right thank you thanks for having appreciate me. it you just enjoyed that michael brooks show video and you can get a lot more by subscribing to us here at the Michael Brooks Show YouTube channel. It's literally right there.